So we've had some temperatures in the 40s and you can see the caladiums are not enjoying that. And then we've got some 30s this week coming. So I'm going to get these out and into my garage to dry. So I brought the caladiums into my garage and I'll leave them here for about two weeks to dry. I've just got them all stacked along the wall in buckets. And then in two weeks time I'm going to collect the corms and store them in paper bags over winter. So I'm going to be filling this bowl up with isopropyl alcohol, it's the 70%. These are so pretty, the colouring. Before you chop your succulents, just check the leaves and make sure that they're nice and firm and plump. And if they seem at all thirsty, rather water them and wait a day or two before cutting them. Remove that. Let me show you what these look like from up close. I might pot these into their own pots because I've seen these when they're larger and they're actually very really beautiful. So let me keep these aside. I'm just gonna put them on the floor. I've got this sweet little clump. so pretty so I've removed some more of the leaves of the succulents that I harvested yesterday I've made them into like a rosette shape like that and then I've got a shorter stem and I'm just gonna let those dry 
So I'm going to mix up a well-draining succulent soil mix and then also for my non-succulent plants I'm going to mix up some soil. For the succulents I've got this cactus potting mix from Miracle Grow and I did um, cook it in the microwave for five minutes to try and kill the fungus gnat larva that's always creeping around in these bags. And then for my other plants I've got that Fox Farm potting mix. And then I'm just going to add some perlite, orchid bark, charcoal and pumice just to make it more airy. I don't follow any particular recipe, I just mix until I think it looks okay. So this is orchid bark. I can't find a face mask, so I'm just going to hold the towel to my nose. I'm going to dig out these um, donkey's tail because we've got some frost coming tonight. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. I kind of made them all face toward me because I'm going to see if hubs can mount like a bracket on the back of this box. And then next year, I want to see if I can hang it like on this fence panel over here and it'll be like a little wall of succulents. I think that'll be very cute. Okay, so I'm going to put some systemic on here, give it a drink, and then I'm going to put it in the basement. So I'm going to do the same thing with my string of pearls. Cover this back piece with a bit of soil. So that can root in. So I've got these fast food container lids and I'm just going to be planting my succulents in those. just want to make sure that these drain very well. So I filled the lid with a well-draining potting mix and you can see the succulents have calloused over quite nicely. 
and I'm just going to push them gently into the soil. So I won't give these any water until I see some roots. I usually just pop out a thing, check if there's roots. If there's no roots, I just leave them. So that's the first one. These are grouped closely together, but once they have roots and they start sizing up, I can always give them more space. Today I'm going to be digging out all the succulents in this planter. Um, I'm not going to keep the center one. It's not my favorite. It looks weedy and it's very aggressive. So I'm going to dig that out so that I can see what's going on around it. Oh my gosh, it's got a huge root system. Let me just try and break it off a bit. I don't mess the soil everywhere. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start taking out this side. I've got some succulent soil that I mixed up, a nice well draining mix. So I'm going to first dig all of these out. And then decide how I'm going to pot them up. I'm just going to lay these all on the floor next to me. So the final succulents that I want to save before the frost gets them, let me see, I think, I don't know if I want this, I think I've got this inside already, but I do want this guy. I definitely want this one, it's so pretty.
Oh yeah, that's all I'm taking. Oh, I really like this one. I'm going to take leaf cuttings from this one. Look at this beautiful color. I think I'm going to pot this one up and then wherever I remove the babies from, it'll re-sprout more. So I'm going to get multiple that way. But I am going to, let me lop it off here. And I'm going to carefully remove these. It's so pretty. I think I'm going to take this one as well. Yeah, that's very beautiful. Once I want to keep, I'm going to just put on my camera stand there. And then I'm going to pot you up. But I'm first going to remove all the babies. Because that'll make it push pups along the stem. Okay, so I'm going to keep that one. And I'm going to propagate those leaves. I don't want more of those. I can't get over these beautiful colours. Now, I didn't um, soak this one in isopropyl because of the bowl is a bit small, but I do have a spray bottle. So pretty. All right, that car can sit there and dry. So I've just laid these on top of dry soil and then I'm just going to cover them. There are a few holes in here for airflow and then I did put the date on there. It's the 17th of October and I won't be giving these any water until I start seeing some roots or pups forming. But I'll show you that when that happens.